Oh, are you still here? We're doing Swinglish, Swedish words that have influenced the English language. And I was thinking of one word that surprised me. It's uh, ombudsman. That's super weird, because in Swedish it's called ombudsman, a government-employed um, statesman. The exact meaning is the same in English. Well, they say the same thing. Yeah. Oh, really? And it's, uh, it's been like that forever. I thought it was like a new thing. I didn't know this. And that could be like the, the socialistic, uh, socialistic <laughs> seep into the bu in, bureaucracy. Into the American society uh, where at, no one at its core. Where no one checks. No, they, they say proudly, I'm an ombudsman. Uh, and they don't know. That's uh, like commie talk. Uh, that sounds official. <laughs> Any government that uses the word ombudsman has to be socialistic. Yeah. Think about that. There you go. Don't vote for them. Or vote for them if you're in that. Well, you can't vote for it because it's like... Ah, oh, yeah. You can't even vote for it. It's just there. <laughs> maybe, we can, maybe we can influence a law change in the States. The that best, would be... Oh. The best system. Whatever you vote for, the ombudsman will be there. <laughs> We're doing some uh, Swinglish now. Mm -hmm. This time we have two that keep together. The first is uh, bark. Bark, yeah. Bark in Swedish. We don't mean the dog barking, woof, woof. But it's spelled the same, though. Yeah, that's kind of confusing. Uh, anyhow, the, the bark that's on trees, you know, the, the, the skin of trees. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> that's called bark. And it's uh, bark in Swedish. Yeah, same word. And uh, you could use, uh, like, naver is a special type of bark from the birch tree, Bjork. Yeah. Ah, m many bees here. No, I'm not going to complicate it, but you can start fires with uh, uh, nather, yeah. which is a kind of bark. And in that sense, we have the next word, tinder. Ah, tinder. Tinder, you know. Small pieces of wood. When you want to start a fire like the bushcrafters. But tinder comes from tindra. It's a Swedish word for sparkling. Uh, yeah, because if you want to start a fire, you want to have to spark. Exactly. And then also, you have if you want to catch someone on the interwebs, Tinder med ögonen, Tinder with your eyes. It's yeah. like gleaming with your eyes when when you see someone you like. I, I, <laughs> I you, knew you were looking at me. <laughs> also, but I don't know what many words for naver. Bark, I know, is English. The English speakers must have some words that I don't know uh, for the parts of the the bark that you light fires with or from certain trees. Yeah. I don't know, come and tell, tell us <clears throat> please, what Please tell us in the comments what, what naver or different types of bark that uh, are good to start We know a lot with. of stuff, but we don't know every word for bark. Yeah. If you have a word that uh, you know is from uh, derived from Swedish or Scandinavian, give us that and we'll research it for you. Korvfest. <laughs> That's yeah. <laughs> that's that's kind of specific. Korvfest. Yeah, Korvfest. It's also pronounced exactly as the Swedish word. Yeah, kind of a modern word. It doesn't derive from the Viking age. I'm guessing that someone in England started with uh, the word sausage party. A bad party. <laughs> Only guys. <laughs> Only guys. No girls, and uh, no one's happy about it. And then, I like, it came back to Sweden in the word Korvfest. Yeah, Korv means sausage. That's like a w back backwards Swedish. Sweet, yeah, exactly. The the word's probably from English, but it sounds sausage sausage party sausage doesn't party. sounds good. And then some Swedes come along; they're good at English. Like, oh, it's like a court fest. Ah. And probably some English speaker just like court fest. Yeah, ah, that, that, fest. That, that that lies very well in the mouth. The court <laughs> like lies like a sausage. Mm, it's kind of suitable for the kind of party we're talking about. So it's maybe it's a ing Swiss word. English. Ing Swede. What's, yeah. what's the opposite of Swinglish? Swinglish would be Ing English. Swede. No, that's Swiss. Ing, ing Swede. Yeah, uh, it's an Ing Swede word. <laughs> Did we explain that Korfest is a, a party with only guys? I think so. That well, it's maybe. a bad party unless you're into the guys. Or maybe <laughs> it's your friends, then it's a good fat party. Yeah, but well. it's uh, called a sausage party or mm. Korfest. Mm. Party, party without women. <laughs> it could be a good party, you know. Yeah, it but it's still a corfest. Normally, it's a negatively toned uh, mm. word, but it's a fun word. Fun word.